Hi everybody, welcome to today's <laughs> podcast on PSO Chat with Ladies. In the uh, studio with me is my partner. Hi everyone, I'm Tosi. And as usual, we have our convenia PSO in the building. So please can you introduce yourself? Thank you, share more about my name. <laughs> okay, today we're going to be talking about a topic that has to do with um, spouses support in, in their dreams in the family. That's what we're going to be doing today. Please can you just... Um, Okay, so my first question is, what do you do when you have a spouse that does not believe in your dreams as a woman? Um, I've had this over and over again on the counseling table where people, where women will tell me, oh, my husband doesn't believe in my dream, my husband doesn't believe in my potential, my husband doesn't believe I can do this. Um, and um, my line of counsel had always been the same. Two things, um, when a man does not believe in the dream of a woman, most often than not, it's either the man is not educated enough. When I'm talking about you, I'm not talking about formal education. The man is not informed enough about how to actually help a woman to grow. And so when a man is not well informed on how to help a woman to grow, the tendencies are that when the woman is coming from a lower level of um, expression, the man will just put the ceiling and feel, oh, this is all about her. Because he cannot, he cannot see the potential. He cannot see how to turn potential into greatness. So it becomes a problem. Sometimes um, such men probably grew around very strong women. Um, and so when you look at your wife and then she's not a strong woman and you have always grown all your life with strong women, the, the impression will be that, oh, this woman doesn't have what it takes to actually be able to do this uh, without knowing that you can actually cultivate and help her to become a strong woman. Now, there are other side to it to the fact that, okay, um, uh, um, the man may just need com- I mean, uh, to be communicated with. You know, there might be need for the woman to okay, mm-hmm. see the man and say, look, okay, these are the things, this is where I'm going, and all that. So that the two of them can be on the same page. Mm-hmm. Because can two people work together except they agree? You know, so if um, my, my counsel to such women first is that you know, sit down with your, your spouse mm-hmm. and discuss this thing out. Okay, these are my dreams, these are my ambitions. Yeah, and then you want to also accept if you are. We are starting on a lower level, you will say, okay, yes, I agree that I'm green, I'm green on, mm-hmm. and all that, but I want to grow, I have desire. You know, once there's a will, there's a way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the other side of it is that I've also found out that in some instances, some men are so recalcitrant. No matter how much the woman discusses with them and all that, they've made up their mind that this woman can do and all that. Mm-hmm. In that situation, what I counsel such women is to take their destiny into their hands. Okay. And that will involve either two ways. Number one is that you can stay in the marriage and then own yourself, own your ground. Mm-hmm. It means that you'll be immune to whatever that man says, whatever he does, in such a way that it does not enter into your inner core and then you are able to express yourself okay. without actually creating conflict, you know. Uh, that, oh. that's, that's a complex thing. Okay. But there's other side of the fact that, okay, if it is not workable at all, there's no, nothing the woman can do, then the woman will have to walk away. You know, okay. probably separate. No, the way you are saying, and the worst of all cases probably the worst. Making of sense, like you're saying, making sense, you know, <laughs> But um, according to um, the standard for divorce in Nigeria now, I don't, and the people standard as well. I don't think a man not supporting your dream is in any way. It's part of in the book. In the book. So how do you? Well, 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 the, well the, the issue is the fact that. Um, when a man is not supporting your dream, it's not only going to be your dreams alone. There will be a lot of other things that will be um, associated. Okay. Because that may mean that the man probably is talking down the woman. Probably the man mm-hmm. is trampling on what... Because a man that is really not supporting anything that has to do with you might actually be demonstrating some measure of selfishness. And mm-hmm. there will be a point of conflict somewhere and all that. And if you discuss it with him and the man does not want to change, there will be some other negative things that are associated with it. That's why I said that that's the last option. Okay? okay. Um, for most women, the advice is that, okay, when the man is not supporting your dream and you have discussed it out, you probably want to own your space and then ensure that, okay, his lack of support does not affect you internally, provided he's doing all that things. Because when you say a man is not supporting a woman, there are so many sides to it. Yeah. The, the man may not actually be emotionally there, may not be physically there, oh, may not be yeah. financially yeah. there, may not be spiritually there. Mm-hmm. I, I, mean, I mean, aside from that, may even now be very destructive. Mm-hmm. I've seen some men who will talk down their wife, every attempt that the woman to do something, they pull it down, I don't want you to work, I don't want you to do this, you don't want to, I mean, I don't want to own your own thing, and at the same time, I don't want to give you. So um, when you <laughs> no, 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 incidentally, as 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 a, a counselor, I've met this on on counseling table, marriage counseling table, many times. Okay. And and sometimes it's tough 
but sometimes you may have to tell women, please, can you just walk away? Okay. Oh, wow. Because okay. I don't think a woman being mm -hmm. a woman by the man is always against her, can mm -hmm. actually guard herself against this entering trainer, you understand? Because sometimes what we hear constantly, it sticks yes. without us. Yes. No, 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 it's very possible for a woman to guard herself. You know, you just, okay. you just develop a thick skin. Um, there is, there is a, there's a therapy, you know, um, uh, incidentally I'm taking one of my clients through that. There's a therapy um, that you can be taking through that helps you to develop capacity to be numb to somebody's words. Wow. Yes. Well, well, that, that's my, you will pay me. <laughs> You pay them a professional check. Okay. But, but, but see, the idea is that you find out that check, check, um, great people. Mm -hmm. They're very selective in internalization wow. because it's not everything around you that you must allow to get inside you. Yes. Uh, if you are going to become great, so you have to be selective. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it might be so unfortunate that your husband may be one of those that you may have to screen out. From having very strong effects on you internally. Okay. Uh, if that's because of for your own mental health state, say you've got to decide whose word will matter to you. Okay. And so, um, if we get to that point, a woman might actually say, "Okay, in this area, no matter what this man does or says, I'm not going to really allow myself to be bothered." Okay. Yeah, it's very possible. Well, you know, uh, what I was thinking is that it's easier because um, I've read everywhere where they say men think logically. So it's easier for men to put things in a box. A woman connects everything. So if a woman if a man, woman does not feel supported in, let's say, what she wants to do, there's no way she would be able to carry out other roles. To feel emotional. Yes. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you build up that kind of environment? So it's not like I'm taking out my husband on my children and that, the sound of that, that, that's, exactly what, that's exactly what i'm saying to you that um there is there's a therapy program okay that um, i've developed that actually helps women in that area yeah okay, uh, right. you know um and we use we use rational emotional rational emotive therapy as one okay. of the um 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, i only told you the god well, name you don't know the exact <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's about actually helping you to gain control of your thoughts and your emotion right. as a woman so that you'll be able to know which which thing to attach serious emotions and which not mm -hmm. and to be able to intentionally um, uh, um, sectionalize your life and handle it. It's amazing that women are very powerful. Yes, it's are. amazing <laughs> that, you know, the same woman will cook, will handle the bed, will handle the children, <laughs> and all <of> that. <laughs> so, with, with, that, with that deposit of capacity, the woman can actually be helped. So one of the things she will need to solve during that therapy session is somebody who constantly keeps talking to her. Okay. Because one of the things with women is that you grow internally, you maintain stability by somebody talking to you. Mm -hmm. And so if the man is not doing the right talking, we mm -hmm. find somebody else to do the talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, and, and do the talking in such a way. And I'm not talking about frivolous talking. I'm talking about the talking that will actually build energy and strength. In fact, that's one of the reasons why you see some women commit adultery. Because if their husband is not there to speak to them, yeah. and then somebody who, you somewhere. know, a stranger somewhere starts talking to them, you know what I'm saying, now, <laughs> and then they get swayed. But on a professional ground, there is a way you can actually speak to an individual wow. over a period of time and then help them to be able to concentrate on what matters. Okay. okay. All right. So, what I want to say is that um, what if a situation was like the husband creates the kind of atmosphere? That does not allow the woman to actually do what you are trying to do. Like, you know, at the edge of the house in court now, there's some rules, there's some things that you can say that this is what you must do. Mm -hmm. you know, for instance, I meant to go for a business summit. He says there's no going out in this house where I've dressed up. Exactly. What he said he wants to eat from the <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 the, the reality is that as much as we say the man is the head of the house, the head of the family, it does not mean the man is the lord of the wind. Yeah. And and we have to be yeah. able to separate that, you know. Um, when a man begins to hit the very core uh, center of a woman's life, that woman mm -hmm. should develop enough nerve to yeah. be able to say, "Sorry, this is the how far you can go." Okay. Um, yeah. the, the man is the head of the family, but not the lord of your life. Okay. okay. Um, I, I've had some speakers say, I mean, some preachers say that um, the the men are the lords, and then. 
uh, because the Bible says somewhere that Abraham called her husband Lord, so women should call their um, husband Lord, and then um, um, uh, the woman and the man are not equal, and because they are not equal, the woman is the inferior material and all of that. Now, such assertions are very dangerous. Yes, that's uh, they're very dangerous because that's not the intent of the writer of that portion of the scripture. Okay, because true leadership is not meant to be oppression. Mm -hmm. True leadership is meant to actually help you to grow, like helps you to become better, helps you to become a better version of yourself. When leadership it becomes oppressive, it becomes dangerous. If you will find God most of the time, when a leader becomes oppressive, God comes in reaction. Because yeah. leadership is supposed to be used to serve. You know, Jesus gave us a practical model. He said, in among the Gentiles, he said they use leadership. We have really come to serve the leader. He said, but in the kingdom, when you have a relationship with God, you know that leadership is meant to be used to serve. So you go down and wash your feet. So when you turn it upside down, it becomes a problem. Yeah. You want to use that as a tool of, um, uh, of manipulation. So I believe that when you have situations like that, mm -hmm. um, um, there may be need for more intervention. Probably um, 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 externals might need to, to be called in. Uh, people who have interest in, in the family mm -hmm. might be called in. And where it's um, they are reaching a deadlock, there might be need for separation. Separation is not necessarily divorce. You know, separation is just giving yourself gaps to reflect. Because I, I say to every woman, and, and, and I hope you will listen to me, I'm not talking about feminism where you're trying to um, um, pull your strength and all that hair, you know. I, I'm not talking about a woman trying to struggle position with a man, but I'm saying that when a man is trying to destroy you internally, you have a duty to yourself to protect yourself. Okay. Yeah, you have a duty to protect yourself. Okay. So I'm putting myself in this woman's shoe, like um, not getting support. And you know the, the importance of words. After a time, you begin to believe that reality. Mm. And then your head is back down. You yeah. don't believe in yourself also. But you know that there's a deep calling somewhere. Yeah. So I want to ask that. Are there any tips for you to be able to like find yourself again? and go after the dream. Yeah. Incidentally, you just described the, the case of one of my clients, you know, and she discussed with me about the fact that, oh, my husband speaks me down, talks me down, acts me down, mm -hmm. and all that. I said, I've got to a point that I begin to act stupid. I behave stupid because my husband tells me I don't know what to do, I don't know how to do things, and all of that. Now, and what I always say to women who find themselves in that situation mm -hmm. is that you choose who and what you believe. Okay. I repeat, you may not be able to decide what people say to you and mm -hmm. how they say what they say, yes. but you take responsibility to decide what <laughs> you believe. <laughs> All right. uh, and that's All right. why I said that there is, that, that my program that I, I developed is about selective believing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you, 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 you intentionally choose whose words will matter to you. So when a man starts talking, in such a way that is derogatory, in such a way that is demeaning, and all of that. You circle him in that area and tell yourself, I'm not going to take this person serious on this matter. And that's the only way you can. Let me give you an example now. You walk on the road, and then somebody looks at you and says, Vera, you're a madman. A madman meets you on the road. And then a, a madman is telling you, Vera, you're a mad lady. You know you're very, very mad. So when you now remove your clothes and start fighting, you know, you will not. Why? Because somewhere in your psyche, you just tell yourself that it's a madman. I'm not getting myself bothered. I know you just move on. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Right. If you can do that to a madman, you can do that to same men. Wow. Okay. You know, because there are some people that are physically sane, but yeah. in their actions and attitude, they are really not sane. Yeah. And women need to learn to create internal shield. Okay. To, uh, to protect themselves. You know, what are like arrows? Yes. And yeah. they can be very deadly arrows fired into your heart and then you just lose yourself. Yeah, so you decide what to believe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what I'm thinking now is that it's very easy to say that you would um, you would the shield. shield and everything. But there are some days where those words yeah. come out, it's like, and you just it's like you something you're trying to bury, and not bury, or work on, and then all of a sudden you just feel the pain again. Yeah, it happens. And then, so what do you do in that instant? Well, I, I will not tell you that those days, those moments are not, are not going to come. Yeah. And that's why I was talking about the therapy I was explaining. One of the things that we suggest in that therapy is that you now need to build a support system of people who love you, accept you for who you are, and believe in you. 
You, you've mm -hmm. got to you've got to intentionally look for such people. They may be your friends, they may be your family members that you will speak to time and again, mm -hmm. and then they speak word of reassurance to you. They reaffirm you and all that. One of the things we do in our therapy is that we ask if we are able to get one or two of such persons, okay. we speak to them mm -hmm. and tell them the kind of things they might need to say to you okay. from time to time. And then as they take responsibility to say that to you, to say that to you, you know, it's amazing that human beings on our inside, we are like um, like plants. Yes. You know, when you water the plants very well, you know, you take away the weeds and all of that, it will grow well. Mm -hmm. So if you have the right people keep speaking to you and then it start taking away the weeds, you know, because when you talk to such people, one of the things you express is your self-doubt. Yes, oh, well, do you think I can do this? Yeah. Yeah, then they help you say, no, 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 there's more inside you than that. You know, you have capacity to do that and all that. What they are doing is take away the weeds. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And when they speak to you and say, look, this thing is possible, that is possible, this your dream can be achieved, mm -hmm. you have to analyze it and all that, it builds your confidence. Mm -hmm. And then just imagine you are exposed to such a uh, process or system over a period of time. You suddenly develop an internal strength. Mm -hmm. And then you will find out that whoever is talking you down after a while will lose grip on you. Yeah. Uh, and let me, let me help you to see this way. Yeah. Some men use it as a tool to actually turn uh, their, their, their wives to stooge that they can control. Mm -hmm. so some men do it intentionally. They speak those words and all of that because they know that the more they do that, the more mm -hmm. they can control the woman. It's a manipulative instrument. Mm -hmm. And as a woman, you must avoid that. Can I, can I be honest with all, all the men that are listening to me, mm -hmm. when you use your words to talk to a woman down, you are actually a witch. Yes. You are trying to control <laughs> a manipulative <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I think well, what well, I'm point I'm thinking from is that like thinking from the book of your therapy now that yeah. um you ask her if she has people on that can talk to her. I think in, to in, the, support in, in the back of your mind somewhere you look as if they are just still telling you what I want to hear. Mm -hmm. Like how do you? block that like they are saying no 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 we are not we are not going to you see the therapy is not about people telling you just what you want to hear uh, we are talking about people being real with you exactly. being realistic with you so for example now if you are my client and i'm your um counselor um what i want to do is examine your strength examine your weakness exam get real with you to know where you are you know if you're on point two out of ten ladder i know you're on point two but it's not enough to now begin to tell you, you are so low on the ladder. No, you are so low on the ladder. <laughs> now, if you keep telling you are so low on the ladder, it means you will never get there. <laughs> but just imagine I choose around and say, wow, wow, we are not doing badly. At least you are on number two of the ladder. Okay. Even though you are going to 10, but at least you are, you are off the ground. You are not on the ground. Yeah. So you are encouraged. That's the difference. I'm still telling you that you are number two, but okay. I'm, I'm telling you a different way. Okay. <laughs> That's, oh, okay. So when we get the support system, what we are asking them to do, is to help them from the from what we would have had as uh, uh, interaction and all of that i would have would have extracted the next information and so your support system we're simply just telling them okay this is where this person is and where this is where we are driving this person and then we just need you to check on this person maybe once every week once every two weeks can you help to say these can you help? some may not even say things to you if, if there are people that are your bosses or something like that we may ask them to give you tasks that will stretch you you know and what those tasks will do is to take you out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and take away your fears mm -hmm. you know sometimes you will think that there are things you will think you cannot do and then somebody just takes you and says oh my god that done you remember when i want to ask you to do to do to take up a project and then the first thing you said to me is that ah, how will i get this thing done you know <laughs> but, but, but somehow you went through the project okay. you got it done mm -hmm. and then what that does for you is makes you feel wow you mean i can move mountain like this mm -hmm. and that's the, that's the kind of thing we are talking about okay all right so i i just like being practical so i'm going to give you a practical scenario right yes, now God. all right so i have this um there's a woman oh let's say friend she wants to follow her dream and that will include going back to school. So because um, the world is going global and she wants to solve global issues. Thank you. So she tried to go um, the route of maybe going for masters and not stopping until she got a PhD. And she doesn't want to stay in the country. Yeah. But the man has a dream of just God give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that question you're asking yeah. is tricky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's tricky in the sense that uh -huh. the man might not have 
an ambition of going outside the country. That's true. It does not mean he's complacent. Oh. You know, there are two different. All right, all right. Okay, yeah. uh -huh. so, okay. so the, he yeah. doesn't have an ambition of going outside the country. Uh -huh. But he's, he has an ambition, he's ambitious in his own right about yes. what he wants to do, he might be doing what he has to do. And I have exactly. okay, fan, exactly. fantastic. Yes. Now, that is where marriage comes in. Okay. Because it's marriage, there will be give and take. You know, um, a woman cannot just say, This is my dream, and I don't tell you, feel mm -hmm. I pursue it. All right. Yeah. Um, and a woman cannot say, you know, a man cannot also say, um, I don't care what your dream is, it doesn't matter, I'm the head of the house. Yeah. So there must be there must be a middle line mm -hmm. that the two of them come and sit down okay. and look at the pros and the cons. Let's let's take that um example that you are just given. The woman wants to travel abroad, yeah. maybe UK or US, mm -hmm. and the man is in Nigeria mm -hmm. and probably have two kids. Yes. First question, where would the children stay? Ah. Abroad or Nigeria? Abroad. Now, <laughs> <laughs> if you are going to stay abroad, uh -huh. what is the cost? All of us. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is, what if, if a man does not have enough resources to be at that cost? So uh, so that's, so that's going to be that's going to be a lot of selfishness because it means that everybody is just following the life of that woman. Oh, okay. And, and that shouldn't be so. But they could reach a compromise. They could actually um, strike a balance, mm -hmm. husband and wife. And that's what's, supposed, that's what's supposed to be the ideal. Husband and wife, you have your dream, I have my dream. Yes. Then the two of them can sit down and agree so that they can become one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. want to go to, I've seen oh, I mean, couples who have agreed that way. And they, they, they were able to navigate it. Oh. Yes. And I've seen yeah. some who say, oh, going that way, I think it's not, it's not going to help the family for the sake of the family. Let's drop this for this season. So it's a function of agreement. Mm -hmm. The two of them need to sit down and agree. But if you ask me and say, okay, the woman wants to improve herself educationally. Mm -hmm. Let's say she's in Nigeria yeah. or they're both abroad. And then the woman wants to improve herself educationally and the man is um, probably out of uh, fear of, uh, of the woman going mm -hmm. higher or there about. Mm -hmm. And they say the woman cannot go back to school mm -hmm. and all that. Then I will tell the woman to insist on her point. Family, mm -hmm. but cautiously. Mm, yes, okay. family, but cautious. Head down. Step up, head down. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? That yeah. if a man stops you from improving yourself, that same mm. man will come back tomorrow and oh. abuse you with the thing that you stopped. Yes. You will. Please, can you say that again? Yes, let me too fast for my brain. I'm, I'm <laughs> saying that if a man stops you from improving yourself, okay, that same man will come back tomorrow to taunt you that you have not improved. Yeah. Okay. So the wisdom is when you need to improve, Proceed yes, okay. with a lot of respect, but you have to firmly go towards improvement. Okay. Because ultimately, it makes you more valuable to the man. Mm -hmm. And the same man who didn't value you, who didn't uh, want you before, will That's then be going to boost. Uh, so. Why? <laughs> yeah. But only that I must, I must keep saying it. The woman has to be cautious on how it is handled. Okay. Because some women are very careless on how it's handled. Okay. And that's where the problem is. So they, make, they use their emotions to mess up the whole game. Okay. The woman does not have support from her husband, like we've been saying since morning. And um, she now has this colleague at work, you know, or your mm -hmm. friend outside the marriage that is always supporting her. Yeah, no, speaking the right time. word. Every time, <laughs> she's always right, no on point. Yeah. Like you said about your therapy, that mm -hmm. you always need that with those. Planting the seed. Yes, and what What seed? Exactly. <laughs> and, but the person is an opposite sex. You know, for women, eh, eh, no, this emotional act of the dick and not for man. That's why I, I recommend that um, the woman should look for a therapist. Mm -hmm. A therapist only? Yeah. No, 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 I'm coming. Okay. Even when you get other support system, you get a therapist, a professional who will not um, mix emotions with the real issue. You get what I'm saying? Now? Um, and if, if it's not a professional therapist, but somebody that can be relatively professional with you mm -hmm. without mixing emotions mm -hmm. with it. And what that does for you is that you can then open up and then the person can help you to dissect and say, hey, emotion is mixing up here. Uh, can you take this out there? Um, it's not impossible. And in most cases, that's what usually happens for women who have husbands who uh, are not supportive. Yeah. When the husbands are not supportive, particularly in words, mm -hmm. 
words, actions, attitudes, when they're not supportive, there will always be somebody somewhere mm -hmm. that, is, that is filling the gap and, and all of that, or somebody that will arrive someday, mm -hmm. that's supposed to say that will fill the gap. And if care is not taken, mm -hmm. on both sides, emotions can mix up, and then before you know what it is, um, the woman gets into it. And that's why I said, I've seen women who get into adultery, not because they wanted to get into adultery, but somehow, um, something is done at home that is not helpful for their psyche, for their mental health, and then somebody comes outside and then fills the gap. But when you have a therapist, um, a professional, then it's, it's a pity that in our part of the world, in Nigeria, we really um, we've not come to value the place of um, professional therapists. Yeah. Okay. Um, but when you have a professional therapist, what that person does is to help you actually um, remove the plug, you know, all those um, emotional um, yes, entanglements, yeah. and help you to see those things for you there. Now, you might still need that opposite sex, but you might just need to define boundaries. For example, if I have a client who comes to me and say, I oh, have this guy in my office, who does this, who does this, who does this. Does anything like now, what I'm going to assess is I'm going to assess the point where that person comes in, and then we are going to look at the areas that can become emotional. Okay. And then probably help the person to build up strength in such a way that you can cut off those areas that can degenerate, and then get the best of that relationship. Okay. You know, because sometimes it's some of those relationships that degenerate, it's not that they are bad in themselves. Those inputs are needed. Yeah. It's just the fact that two people now are in a situation where probably they are not able to define the boundaries. And once the boundaries are not defined emotionally, then you carry you just get carried away by the waters of the emotion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Okay. But generally it's actually not uh, a, a challenging thing when a woman is in a state where her husband is not supporting her, her husband talks her down, and all the men that are listening to us um, today, I want to encourage you to learn that you need to speak right to the woman in your life. Mm -hmm. You marry your wife. Not all women are not on the same level. There are some women that are on their own, their eye, their leaders, and all of that. They have been built. Probably their parents did a good job on them. They have good exposure and all of that. And then, and when you meet them, they are operating at the same level. And there are some women, when they come or when you meet them, they are still on the low level, but they have the potential on the inside. Mm -hmm. And they just do your job to help them to develop, you nurture the seed on the inside of them until they grow out for full expression. You know, so you, you need to check which one do you fall as a man. I, I mean, which kind of woman do you have? The one that you will nurture, or the woman that have been that you just actually found to flee. You know, they are being, they are already there. Okay, you just need to marry. And you know, it's, maybe another time we we'll talk about that. So women also have the issue of the fact that they are there, and their husband just can't manage the yeah, fact that this think, woman is a top flyer. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. It's good to join us today at PSO Speak. So let me chat with ladies. Yes, so, so thank you for joining us. Till next time. Bye. Bye.